welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impressions on an eyeshadow palette for you guys. It's going to be on the Tartlet palette. I'm so excited to try out this palette. I've owned it for about a month and a half now and I just haven't had time to film the first impressions. So it's literally been killing me not being able to use this palette, but I get to use it today and show you guys my first impressions thoughts and some swatches as well. So yeah, if you'd like to see my first impression on this palette, then just keep watching. So this palette comes in amazing packaging. It's very, very beautiful. It is plastic packaging, so that's great. And it does have an ombre purple scheme going on. Um, there are 12 eyeshadows in this palette and each pan has 1.5 grams in each pan. So that's about as much as a MAC eyeshadow or a Zoeva eyeshadow for reference. Um, this is what the palette looks like. I will show you a close-up of it, but seriously, it is just a gorgeous palette consisting of all matte shades, and they're more on the brown and purple side of things, which I think is gorgeous. That's totally right up my alley. If I'm not using a brown, then I'm using purple eyeshadows, so I think this palette is just gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start using the palette, I guess. I have already primed my eyes using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I did use a translucent powder to set that. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to take this shade in the very bottom corner here. This is called Super Mum, and I'm just going to grab it on a more flat brush, and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. Also, the mirror in this palette is amazing. Like, it is huge. Now I'm just going to take a blender brush and I'm going to use this shade called Force of Nature. This is a really pretty pink shade. And I'm going to apply that to the crease. Oh, this color is super gorgeous. I'm also just going to take Natural Beauty, the color underneath it, which is this one here. These shadows are definitely really, really pigmented and they are relatively blendable also, so I love that. I'm now going to go into this shade right here. It's called Dreamer. Oh, this one's a little bit powdery. I do get a tiny bit of fly up with it. I'm now just going to take a clean blending brush. Now, I really want to take this Best Friend shade and I want to apply that to the lid. I'm just not going to apply it to the inner corner or to the first quarter of the eye. I'm going to take the shade Wanderer just on my finger, which is this one right here. And now on a smudger brush, I'm just going to take the shade Natural Beauty and I'll apply that to the lower lashes. I'm also going to take the shade Best Friend as well, just on the outer corner. I'm actually really liking how this look looks at the moment. I want to darken it up ever so slightly, so I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Multitasker. I'm also just going to take Multitasker on my short shader brush. Okay, I think that's enough eyeshadows for today. Um, I really, really like how it applied to the eye, and I'm really, really liking how this look looks at the moment. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go apply some fake eyelashes and the rest of my face makeup, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I just got done putting on my fake eyelashes and a little bit of mascara as well. Um, I did swatch these shadows whilst waiting for my eyelash glue to dry. And can I say that these just swatch amazingly? Like this isn't like trying hard to swatch them at all. They aren't the creamiest shadows in the world, but they're also not super dry. They're just a very, very nice, happy medium. I feel like if they were any more creamy, they would be way too like crumbly so I feel like it's just a perfect texture for a matte eyeshadow they swatch beautifully they apply beautifully to the eye I love how you have very dark shades but then you also have very light shades as well and you can do looks all in between as well that's what I love about this palette it is all matte so it is a nice addition to a palette to a collection should I say um, and yeah, if you do have a lot of shimmery shades and you want to balance it out with some matte eyeshadows, I feel like this Tartlet palette would be a good investment. Or if you just love matte eyeshadows, I think that this would also be a very, very good palette to add to any collection. So yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. It blended beautifully. It applied beautifully to the eyes. I don't really know what else to tell you guys, really. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.